Okay, I tried to avoid pinching that fuel line, but here we could see, yeah, this, this gas is contaminated, and that may just be the main issue. Okay, so it looks like we probably got the, any water that was in the tank, should have been at the bottom, and we just drained that out. See that at the very bottom? Okay, so what I do is I'll just put this right back in to the tank later on because there are a bunch of little micro water droplets in here. I'm just going to let them go ahead and sink on down to the bottom. And then when the fuel has totally separated from the gas, um, I'll pour the gas back in and leave that water, that bottle little bubble of water in the jar and then just throw that out so I can reuse the gas. So I'll just let this sit for about an hour and let it settle. Okay, so that's that. I think we got the water out of there. That's good. Get the float bowl off of this carburetor. We're going to clean water out of And this is another uh, seven millimeter. Get the bottom of this carburetor off the float bowl. I'll put these on that engine deck real quick. So you got two under here. Put that over there. All right. So there's that. Now you want to get a big handle screwdriver here and you want to pry at this right here or right here. I need a little bit bigger screwdriver. All right. So I got my jumbo, a bigger screwdriver, and I'm going to go ahead and take this bowl off of the bottom here. Get it right here. Just need to get a little get a little prying force on that. This might not even be big enough. Okay, just get it to where it's kind of starting to grab. Wedge it up in there. And then we'll go get to the other side. Okay, see that's it. Take that off. Okay, you can see the water droplets in there already. So we got that water up in there. I got some gas in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and dump that out. Okay, so we had a little bit of moisture in the bottom of here. And now to take this out, this is like where the main jet of the carburetor is located. It's inside of this thing. So to take this plastic white piece off, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap right underneath here. Okay. And what I do is I stick that screwdriver, I just kind of wedge it in there, and I back and forth, back and forth, twisting motion until it kind of starts popping up like that. There we go. And it'll just come right out, just like that. Let me uh, zoom out on this thing. Okay, so there's that. And now what happens with these a lot, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just a... Uh, water contamination issue and water just blocks gas. The water so heavy the gasoline can't get past it and uh, just acts like kind of a blocker. But anyway, while we're at it, we're going to take this jet out. And um, what you can do, I've got compressed air and I'm going to blow through all these passages, but what you can do is uh, try to stick a little wire in here and then just even with your mouth blow into this thing if you don't mind getting gas on your mouth or just blow it out somehow. Uh, but little wire, be gentle, stick it in this hole here, okay, you see that, stick it in that hole, put it down in this hole, one, two, three, just make sure everything's nice and clear. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow this out, and I'm going to go ahead and blow out any holes that are over here, blow down through the uh, gas inlet here, and... We should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take and blow this out.
Okay, we'll go ahead and put the jet back in and you line it up to where the inlet, gas inlet here is on the left side. The big, this only goes back in one way, but these two big tubes will be in that direction of the, uh, where that fuel inlet is, and then just get it in there. It's sticking up a little bit. Just kind of push it down, okay, get it flat again, okay, that's good. And we'll make sure that our O-ring and Teflon still in there that we didn't blow it out. Um, yeah, and that should be good. Uh, yep, then we'll go ahead and reverse it. Oh, one thing I will show you, take this off again real quick. Okay, sometimes there's a, uh, there's a piece down in there in that very center hole right there, a very center hole that gets out of alignment. And you got to take a screwdriver or something like that and get it back into alignment. It's it's aligned right now. Um, if it wasn't, this center piece would not go down perfectly in the hole. But it's doing that. So if you're having a problem getting that back in, double check that very center hole and make sure that uh, there's a piece in there that is aligned. Okay. So we'll get this float back on. Make sure we don't have any dirt on it. Got that pin, and this could be a little tricky. It just snaps back into place. So we'll get the needle right in here, put that down in there, and we'll rest that pin right on top of those little those little catches. Put your thumb there and snap it right back in, just like that. And what I do to test this here is make sure it's going to let fuel flow through there and down into the bowl is I'll blow into it. And then I turn it upside down. So that is the needle closing the uh, fuel passage against the seat. So floats down, it should be open, air flows. Needle is against the seat, air is blocked. So we'll do the same with uh, fuel. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this cat back on here. It only goes back on one way. You see how this sticks up and you have this recessed area on the bottom of the bowl. That's how it goes back on. And then we'll go back over and, oh, did I not do that right? I think I got you, got you backwards there, maybe. No, I had it right. Sure that's it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, here's how it goes. There we go. And then we'll get those two screws back on there and mount this thing back up. Okay, should be nice and snug. Even once you get the screws on there, it'll take up that little gap. Just make sure to put it back on the way I just showed you. Okay, so it looks like we got a lot of moisture down in here, and this is what came out of the gas tank when it first started draining it. It didn't all get into the mason jar, so probably most of this is water, because <clears throat> that would have been at the bottom of the fuel tank. So let's just get, get rid of that real quick and properly dispose of this rag that's got gas on it now which is um, the fence outside and let it hang dry to use again later on some oil or something. Okay, so we've got fuel in there. This is plugged off. We're going to go ahead and put this carburetor back on. Got all the pieces still here. All right, and whether you want to connect the fuel line first or not, that's up to you. I like getting this back on here. Now remember this Teflon is going to go toward the engine on the intake manifold. Make sure to get it nicely back on to the circular intake manifold there. Uh, sometimes, I mean, you can use a little dab of oil or even some spit, all right, to get that O-ring just a little bit wet, all right, first. And now you got to put on this link 
right here where the hole is. Okay, get it on there like that. Twist it, <clears throat> line it up, and I guess I will go ahead and put it. It's easier if you <clears throat> get the fuel line on <clears throat> before you try to slide it onto the manifold. Okay, <clears throat> so I grab it with the pliers there, and this is one of the few times, rare times, that I actually am going to pinch the line, and I'll put it back on there as quick as possible, trying not to do that too much, pinch it too much. This fuel line's in pretty good shape. It's pretty subtle. It's not probably not going to hurt it. Um, then I'll slide the clamp back on closer to the uh, body of the carburetor, and then that little tab is kind of in a liner, that, that little white thing, and it goes in the screw right here. And then just kind of feel and look for that intake manifold to make sure it slides on there real good. And you'll kind of feel it set up on there. And then this surface should be level with this right here. So we're about ready to put the other piece on here. All right. And we're going to grab our, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put the uh, screws back on the bottom of the, and I just broke that thing off right there. Okay. No problem. No problem. I'm going to get this situated. Okay, I kind of popped this little piece off here, so I'm going to pop it right back on. And I do believe that that is a, uh, some type of uh, vent, and it also helps align here with this thing. But I'm going to get these two screws back on. They go on the bottom of this. Hopefully I can do this without removing anything. I'm going to leave that linkage hooked up and just get this snug back up. Yeah, okay, so get this one on here. Preferably you want to do this before putting it back on. Sometimes forget to do this. All right, so you're learning from my, my mistakes here. Okay, I don't know if that's going to work, so yeah, it will. Got to be gentle with it. Get this other screw back on here. Okay. All right. Now my O-ring and Teflon came off, so I'll uh, get those back in there. So it goes O-ring first. Get it back in there all the way down and put your Teflon on and kind of snap that back so it's flush. Okay, good. Kind of snaps in place. Get this back lined up with the manifold inlet there. Jimmy it around a little. All right. There we go. Got it on there. Okay. Slid right on there. Good. Everything's in place. And now you might have to take this cover off unless you can get lucky because you've got to get this little breather tube on the back side of this here. Okay. Got to make sure to put that little breather tube on there. Sometimes you can get it on there fairly easy. Okay, that, that worked out pretty good. And as you're positioning this back in place, make sure that doesn't come off. All right. And then you've got the, the four screws we're putting back on. The seven mils go on the inside holes. There's one there. I'll bet this thing's going to fire right up. Okay. And then we got another one here, down here. I can even see this hole. I'm doing this one by feel. There it is. This one's kind of spinning. And these are 5 sixteenths. There's other two on the outside. Like this one's got a magnet. That's 7 millimeter. Didn't have a not magnetized. Okay, put this filter back on here and see how does it go. Back this way. Yeah, that fits on there pretty good. All right. And put this back on here. Make it click. Okay, and I'm going to feel, see if this is pumping. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Hear that pumping the fuel. All right, so we should be good to go. About ready to fire it up. Okay, so we're getting the tools out of the way here, and 
try to fire this puppy up. Right, so this gas is still looking pretty hazy. It's going to take a while to uh, settle this down. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, probably not from that angle, the, uh, the water that's in there. It's cloudy, but there's a pretty good puddle at the very bottom of it. Let's see if this thing wants to fire up, kind of stay running a little bit. Primed it. Okay. <laughs> nothing <laughs> might still have a little water in there hey that do this again I should have drained all that gas out of there should have drained it all out. That's probably what I'll end up doing. All right, looks like that'll do it. And I'll go through some uh, blade sharpening stuff, clean it up, make it pretty, and I'll show you how I post it on Facebook.